I would have you look forward because that's your brake system as you start to bring the legs overhead. But for now, because we're here for two minutes, give your neck a break and relax the head down in between the arms. And then push into your forearms so that you feel your shoulders move up in the line of the ears. If you feel heavy in the shoulders, then that's when you wanna come out and take a little break. We don't wanna dump into the joints. If the elbows splay out, again, come down and take a break. If you have tight hamstrings, give a little bend to the knees. That doesn't mean drop the hips. Continue to reach the hip points up. You can kind of press into the balls of the feet and draw the belly in. And then once the hips are lifted, as you open up through the back body, you can start to press the heels closer towards the mat. And then just find your breath. So make the breath the meditation here. Close your eyes even, if that helps. If you have the fist grip, you're driving down through the fist. If the hands are separated, you're kind of evenly pressing through the forearms, into the elbows. And again, no shame in taking a little break. We were doing two minutes in the last series in November. We did, if you weren't with us, we were doing this in down dog, which in some ways is a little harder because it's a lot on the wrist for some people. But it's easier in form to kind of forget about that pressing action and to sort of let the shoulders collapse and really press and lift. We've got 15 more seconds here before we move into forearm plank. And when we move to forearm plank, make sure that you keep that same distance between elbows. They don't splay out. So if you need to reset, come down onto the knees. Otherwise, shifting forward in three, two, and one. Just walk feet back, bring heart forward. So now shoulders directly over the elbows and the wrists in line with the elbows and the shoulders, unless you have the alternate grip, in which case you're really driving that imaginary stick. Pay attention to the legs here. It's Kind of easy to let the legs get saggy. Pull the muscle into the bone and take your two hip points right at the front of the body. Imagine them. Try to cinch them together at the navel line. And then think about the energy, the line of energy running through the spine, which includes the cervical. So we're not lifting the head and we're not dropping the head. The eyes can slightly move forward from the eyeball stance, but the head is not lifting up. We just want to keep that trajectory, that line of energy kind of reaching forward. And that comes through the heart as well. And then you're on the balls of the feet, heels stacked over toes. So there's an action through the balls of the feet here, pressing, thigh muscle to bone. You're doing good, you guys. We got one more minute here. Keep pressing though. Push the shoulder blades apart. Notice that they're sort of squeezing together, really press. That's gonna come by pushing into the elbows and the forearms. Draw the belly in and up. Imagine you have a block between your legs. Take that block, give it a little squeeze and help that lift the pelvic floor. Stay strong. Again, just close the eyes for this last 30 seconds and breathe. Nice steady flow of inhale through the nose. Nice steady exhale flow through the nose. Keep pushing, keep lifting the thigh muscle to bone. Keep reaching through the heart, through the crown of the head, pressing through the balls of the feet. All right, last 10 seconds here, push more. Pull belly up for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's just lower down slowly. Sphinx pose, uncurl the toes, press down through the feet, lift through the knees and the thighs, lift through the heart, so press. We're opening up the spine here as well. And if you want a little more, lift the elbows an inch or half an inch off the mat. Now drag the elbows back. Pull with your hands to pull the arms back to pull the heart forward. So even as we compress in the low spine, get that sense of tractioning through the upper mid, shoulders down the back, lift through the crown of the head. And slowly lower elbows down. Curl the toes, press into the knees, pick up the hips, press back. Child's pose, tap your third eye. Walk your hands forward as much as you can. Stretch that out. All right, when you're ready, look forward. Shift into tabletop. Walk the hands forward. Press your hips back and up, downward facing dog. So similar action here. You're going to feel a little tired already because the arms have been working, shoulders have been working. 
reach the hips high, let your head relax, and then again, ears go up to the shoulders. We're gonna shift forward into plank, and just to warm up a little bit today, we're gonna do some mountain climbers, but not the real fat, active, fast ones. I want you to pull the knee in, and I want this work to come from the low belly. So draw it in and let that pull the knee to the chest. Nice and controlled, pick up the foot, pull the knee to the chest. Keep the hips level where they are, just moving through the legs. We've got 15 on each side here. You should feel a burn in the low belly. Ten. Eight. Push and grip with your fingers. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, plank and downward facing dog. Look forward and tiptoe to the front of the mat. Feet, hips with distance. Find rag dog, get nice and heavy. You haven't done a lot yet, so just grab your elbows and let's find some movement. Kind of bring the heart forward. Move the weight into the big toe mounds a little more. So the hips come forward, really squeeze through the back body and then take big half circles side to side, slowly though with control. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Just find a little movement for the entire upper body here. Switch opposite elbow on top. All right, release your hands down. Press through your feet. Pick up the toes for a moment. Find the arches, lift there. Lower the toes, shift the weight forward. Now squeeze through your glutes. Squeeze through your hamstrings and back body. Suck in your stomach and roll it up all the way. Reach your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Stretch up. So lateral stretching, but also really finding the oblique strength with this. We did the sunflower circles last time. This time, straight arms. Reach up. Pull your belly and lengthen your spine. And now move your hips over to the left and go up at an angle to the right. Don't think about how deep you come down on the right. Stretch upwards. And then you can start to find the depth. When you're at that sort of maximum point, lock your arms again, squeeze your palms, squeeze your butt, pull your belly in, and now tiny pulses from the left side oblique. Little, little movements here. Chin is lifted, everything tight. Just use those obliques to lift and lower the body an inch, one way and then the other. Stretch away from the left hip point though. You've got 10. Pull the belly in, eight, six, five, four, very controlled movements, three, two, hold it on one, reach a little further. Now find those same muscles, squeeze your butt and pull your body back up. Releasing the grip to the opposite side, squeeze your palms, lift your chin. Again, lengthen your tailbone, draw belly in and up, stretch up from the waistline. Hips go to the right a little bit. Go up at an angle to the left. Come back to the arms, relock, re-squeeze the palms, pull the butt in, left shoulder forward, and now find those right side obliques. Little tiny pulses at that maximum place, up and down for about an inch. You've got 10, eight, Four, keep reaching. Three, two, hold it down there at one. So you can go a little further. Find those same muscles on the right side. Slowly pull your body up to center. And then release the arms down by your side. Shake them out. All right. Now lift to your tiptoes. Whatever you want to do with the arms, I'm going to reach mine forward. Lock your triceps if you do. Lift to your tiptoes, just like we do in Bikram. High, high, high. So working on the flexibility of the toes and the strength of the calves, and then really pay attention to your focus. Look at one spot and then lift through the crown of the head. We lock the arms and then push your heels more forward. Start to bend the knees, but don't really sit down too low here. Just come higher on the toes. Get your balance there and then lengthen your spine so your spine is straight. And if you're high on the toes, you can start to sit down a little bit more. Keep pushing the heels forward. Try not to arch your lower back. So pull those hip points together like we did in plank. Push your heels forward. 
Now start to come down even more. See if you can bring your heels and your hips close together. Knees are gonna come up a little bit here, but your spine is still straight. Hold it there. Now use the same muscles and push and lift back up to that halfway point, legs on fire. Now come all the way back up to standing on your tiptoes, all the way up, stretch up, and then slowly lower all the way, heels to the mat. Now find chair pose, sit down, weight in your heels, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly, pull it in, arch the upper body back. We're gonna take this to extreme chair, so sit your hips down in line with your heels, and then eventually all the way to the floor for boat pose. If you need your hands, use your hands. So find boat pose, lots of variations here. You can bend the knees, you can bring the arms down, you can bring them up, or we're gonna take hands to heart, extend legs or bend them, and then just twist right and left, like little Russian twists, squeeze the belly, twist to the right and the left. You've got 10. Keep going. From the obliques, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, extend the legs, extend the arms, draw the belly and lift the chest for five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna rock onto our backs. Watch me first time, I'm gonna tap the floor. Some of you have done this with me before. Shift forward, you can use your hands or your fists, try to pick up your hips and then drop the hips again. And then arms out to the side to brace yourself, tap your toes, be careful of the neck, come forward, press into the hands, lean forward, pick up the hips, maybe the feet, and then drop back down and do it again. So just nice and slow, you've got five total. Press in between the legs, lift up, lower back down. I'm one ahead of you, so you've got three more. Gently tap, not a lot of weight in the head and neck. Shift forward, lean forward, press. And then one more time. Lift and lower down. Okay, stay there in a straddle. Extend your arms out to the side towards your ankles. The, the further out the arms are, the harder this is gonna be. So you can always just shift back a little bit. You're gonna press into the fingertips to push your spine up to lift your chest. And now pulse that left leg. You've got 10. Five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. And release, other side, just walk the hands over, push away, lift through the chest. Again, flex the foot and pulse it out. Tap with your heel for 10. Five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. And release. All right, we're gonna rock and roll the chair. So grab your shins, try not to use the hands, one or two rocks, however many you need. Shift your weight forward, push down through the feet and lift into chair. Arms up. Okay, so we're gonna work a little bit glute squats, the legs. Bring your hands to your heart. Drop your hips, weight in your heels. So keep your hips about where they are, as low as you can, and then take your right foot over to the right, and then back to the center. Shift the weight into that heel, and even drop the hips a little bit lower as you step out, and squeeze as it lifts up. Step and lift. Keep pushing into the heels. Little tiny squats, little tiny pulses with the step outs. Weight in the heels. Keep your low belly strong, protect that low back. Ten more. Weight back. Think about the quads here. Squeeze and pulse for five, four, three, two, stay with me. Last one, we're gonna come back to regular 
chair, feet together. Now sit a little lower, pulse it out 20. Squeeze the butt. 15. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. All right, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Pull your belly in, bend and soften the legs forward fold. Prepare crow, half lift, option. So you can always just walk back, step back, or find crow, and then shoot your legs back, take vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. We establish your down dog, press into thumb, index finger, reach ears up, shoulders into the ears rather, and then arms hug in tight. Okay, lift your right leg high. On your exhale, take your knee to your nose and try to just tap your heel in between your hands. Tap the heel and then send it back for three. Pull the knee in. Don't worry if you don't make it all the way between the thumbs. Just tap where you can and then pick it up. One more time this way, tap the heel, pick it up, prepare for crescent lunge, knee to the nose, push your body forward and up and step through heel ball toe. Slide your left foot back as far as you need to to set up for crescent. Legs on skis, drop your hips, lift your chest. And then use your core, use your inner thighs here to stabilize and lift all the way up. Or your three. Holding here, find a nice strong crescent lunge. All right, we're going to shift the weight forward, find warrior three. I know the glutes and the legs are a little bit tired from that last work, so go extra slow, find warrior two. Okay, we're still working with the legs, the glutes. So from here, we're going to take the hands down, tap the floor, squeeze the right glutes, and lift back up. Tap the toe. And then back down, tap the hands. Squeeze the glute, pick up, tap the toes. And do it again, sort of like single leg deadlifts. Lift. I'm not going to kill you. Doing eight total, always a good number. Last four. Make sure you're moving from that low belly because this is hard work on the low back otherwise. Keep your glutes strong. You got two more. Last one. Come back to warrior three, hold. Gently step back, reach up, press and lunge. Plant the hands. We're going into side plank on the left side. Spin, stack your feet or place your right foot in front of your left and then reach your arm up. Use that left side body, squeeze the butt in and now thread the right arm through the left arm, reach as far as you can and then open it up. Let the core pull you through, not momentum, not speed, pull it through from the core, twist around the spine. Again, we're doing eights. For four, three, two, and one. Unwind back into side plank. Now roll to plank. Shoot your heart forward. Knees down is an option here. Hug your arms in. You have eight chaturanga push-ups. Arms in close. Send your heart forward. Knees down. Good option. For four, three, two, and one. Hold upward facing dog and then slowly back downward facing dog. Prepare for the other side. Press the mat away, reach your hips high, draw your belly in. Three heel taps, left leg lifts high. Exhale, knee to the nose, step heel tap, send it back three. Knee to chest, pull in, tap, two. Last one like this, step heel tap, send it back, prepare for crescent, knee to the nose, step heel ball toe. Slide the back foot back as needed. Drop the hips, lift the chest. Set your legs like a runner's lunge. And then slowly from the core, the inner thighs rise all the way up, reach up. So again, just find your balance here first, find your foundation, you know where we're going. All right, start to shift the weight forward, find warrior three to start. And if you don't touch the floor, you don't have to go all the way down, just find that sort of movement when you feel the burn. Tap your hands, push through the glute, tap your big toe, lift a little bit 
and then do it again. Legs and arms stay straight. A lot of it's balance, just working on balance, even if you're just sort of holding in your warrior three. Four. Three. Two. One more touch and then come back through warrior three, hold it. And then very slowly landing back in your crescent lunge, reach up, balance. And then hands down side plank right side. So as you shift back, stack either your foot over or interlace the ankles, reach up, use that right side body, stretch the arm and just balance. And then we thread all the way through for eight. Again, using your core. We've got three more. Push with that right hand. Last two. And one, hold. And then unwind. Find, find plank. Shift forward again, you have eight more. You wanna do these well, so we don't wanna be in the low back, just lower the knees down if you need to, but lift the core. You've got eight, lead your heart forward. Last four. Straight arms all the way, three, two, and one. Lower, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog, drop me down. All right, from here, drop down to hug your elbows and your inner elbows and drop your forearms down. Get a little break for the wrists. Dolphin, I know we were already here for two minutes. Little different, walk your feet in as tight as you can. You're on the balls of the feet, and as you walk forward, your body's gonna shift forward. Your head's gonna come closer and closer to the mat, so you've gotta push even more. Get your toes behind your elbows as much as you can, and then lift from your core, let your head relax. You got tight hamstrings, you're gonna have to bend the knees, you'll probably be a little more limited, but you'll still feel that engagement of the lower belly and that push, getting stronger in the shoulders and some more, flexible, uh, some more flexibility there as well. Push, pull. All right, slowly walk the feet about halfway back and lift your right leg up, three-legged dolphin. Take your right knee to your right tricep, squeeze. Get as far as you can. You may have to walk that left foot back a little bit. Tap. And again, tap. Shifting forward and then really pressing when that body shifts forward. Two more. Actually, three more. Sorry, we're doing eights. Last one, extend it, three-legged dolphin, right foot down, check your elbows, make sure they're not splaying out, hug them back in, left leg lifts, three-legged dolphin. Eight times, knee to the tricep, pressing as you shift forward. Good, you guys. Still breathing. I love the heat, as you guys know, but doing this kind of work, you don't need a lot of the heat. I want you to focus more on the fact that you're breathing. Extend the leg and left leg down. With the heat, we can let the heat do a lot of the work sometimes. So this is good. You're really using your own strength and you're using the breasts. Walk your feet back, forearm plank. You can take that alternate grip if you need a little break. All right, so keep the core strong. We do these a lot. You lower down, but only if your low back doesn't hurt. If you can tap, it's lifting through the legs and then use your core to lift up. So we're really using the core to lower down. Tap, if it hurts, then just stay in plank. Last one, hold it here, walk your feet together and now move your hips and tap to the left, come back through center and tap to the right. A little more of the obliques, tap, tap. You gotta lift the core, otherwise your low back is gonna take it. So if you feel pain in your low back now or later tomorrow, this is where you really gotta check in this kind of work. Three, two, 
One. Hold it. Forearm plank. Lower your hips. Sphinx. Little stretch. All right. So feet about hips width distance. Come onto your belly. Stretch your arms forward for a locust variation. But in, instead of stretching straight forward, take them out. More like a um, real, uh, like a field goal post. Press into your feet and lift the upper body, arms like field, and then reach forward and then pull them back. Forward and back. Lift your heart more. Press down through the feet. You've got four. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the elbows to the back line for two. And one, now lift up one more time. Gently lower down. Take the arms forward. You can brace yourself in your third eye, or you can make a pillow in your third eye. Now pick up both legs. Lift them as high as you can. Feet apart here to make this a little bit more comfortable. And now kick the feet up and down opposite directions, like little flipper kicks. Lift them higher if you can. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. All right, take the arms back into that field goal post. And now everything's going to lift up together. Lift up. And then go ahead and move the legs and then take the arms back and forward for eight, seven, six. The tire five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Go ahead and press up into tabletop. Find some cat cows. Move the spine. One more. All right, come on to or come into your down dog. I'm just going to move a little bit around the, the mat. So take your right leg lifted high and let's take three tricep core planks. So knee to tricep, shift forward, get high and then send it back to you like a dog. Knee into that upper arm or outer arm, but lift it high. And then one more time. We're taking this to half moon. So lift the leg high, stay there. Now kick your leg heel ball toe at the corner edge of the mat and then take your right hand and plant it and lift up slow lean forward out of the joint so you have time this is a strength class so that's what i want you to focus on don't worry about what it looks like right now think about what it feels like where are you moving from start to spin the body and then stack the shoulder and then extend the arm stay on the on the fingertips of that right hand so you can really find the obliques here and spin the rib so more about looking up and then really using that bottom leg, press down and lift through the inner thigh. Kick through your back heel, squeeze your glutes. Very, very gently bend the right knee. We're gonna take this to revolve half moon to the back of the mat. So step back slowly, no hands once you lift up. Swing through a sort of a skandasana. And then you're gonna take your right hand down. Left, leg, left arm, right leg goes up. Same thing here, just get real solid in this posture. Spin from the, the rib cage. Stack the shoulders, lift the legs, squeeze the glutes. Gently bend the left knee. No hands, spin back to the front, come back to that half moon. This time the bind. So plant the hand, pick the leg up. Spin first, get your heart open to the side, bend the leg, and then kick back. Chest up. So, so again, sometimes it's nice not to have the heat so you can really focus on the strength of these postures and how much muscle activation can you find to support you. And then you find that sense of sort of ease in the posture. You're not struggling for the breath to breathe. All right, release it slowly, going back. Now we're taking the bind of that revolved half moon. Spin through the center, right hand plants. As the leg goes up, arm goes up, bend the leg, reach around. And as you kick, lift the chest forward and up. and then slowly release back through center. Stay in the center, stay in the center. Turn your toes out, heels in goddess. Keep your body low. So your chest in line with your hips and then reach your arms forward, interlace your hands, release your index fingers, arms with ears. And just hold here, 
Hips pull back, arms pull forward, belly in. If it's too much for the back, take the hands down to the floor to support you. And then release hands to heart, spin back to the center. Plant the hands, send the right leg back, three-legged dog. And then downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high, three times core. Tricep plank, knee to that left outer upper arm. Squeeze everything in and up, send it back. Two. That third one, hold it. And you're gonna prepare, you know where we're going now, half move. Try to heel ball toe outside the hand. Left hand forward and outside the foot. Lean forward, get out of that hip joint. Push with your foot, then begin to straighten the leg and spin and stack. Really flex your right foot, stay on the fingertips of the left hand. And again, use your obliques, lift your left rib cage forward and up, and then begin to twist it. Reach up, look up, pull your belly in. Push into your left foot, lift through the inner thigh, squeeze the glutes. Soften the left knee, lean forward a little bit, step all the way back, coming through the midline of the center, no hands, half moon, revolve half moon, rather left hand down, left leg up, right arm up. Again, heart forward, spin from the rib cage, keeping the hips level, just starting to stack in the direction of the shoulders. Flex or point your foot, keep it active. Again, soften right knee, slowly through center, half moon again with the bind, moving like you're moving through water, right hand outside. No, I messed that up. How did I mess that up? Oh, left hand, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then find the bind. Once you get open, chest to the side, bend the knee, reach around, grab the foot, spread the toes, kick your heart to the side, kick back. Soften left knee, lean forward a little bit. And then lower the foot, revolve half moon with the bind, all the way to the back. Left hand plants, left hand, left leg lifts, reach up, grab the foot. As you kick back and up, reach the heart forward and up. Spin, stack the shoulders. And we're gonna again go back through goddess. This time we're gonna lift the body up though. So come through, set your legs for goddess, toes out, heels in, lift the upper body, find that same Kali Mudra grip, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. And now drop the hips. Lift the right heel, lift the left heel. Lift the right heel, lift the left heel. Keep going. Push the heel over the toes for four, three, two. You know what's coming. Last round, and then both heels are going to go up. Reach up through the fingers, balance on the balls of the feet. Squeeze sort of through the inner thighs, drop the hips under you. Reach up for eight. Seven, push the heels higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the heels, stand up. Release the bind, just pivot to the front. Place the hands down, send the left leg back, three-legged dog, and then lower the foot down, downward facing dog. Drop down onto your knees and your shins, and just set up here onto your knees and shins, like you're setting up for a camel, but we're not. You're gonna take your arms, Grab your elbows in front. Push down into your shins, and then start to lean back. Straight line with your spine, lean back until you can't lean back anymore and hold. Now twist your body side to side. Eight, seven, low belly strong. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, come back to center, release the arms, take your hands down, walk to down dog, find a crouching down dog. So drop your knees low, but you're still pushing with your hands. We're gonna take the knees to the wrist. So send the right knee to the right wrist, send it back crouching down dog, left knee, left wrist. Again, keep the arms straight. Last three, tap, two, and one. Come back to that position. And then this time, keeping in your knees crouching, wrap your inner elbows in, drop your elbows a half an inch off the mat. 
angry baby, push through your mid back, hold it here, eight, seven, squeeze your elbows together, six, five, four, three, two, and one, downward facing dog, straighten everything out, take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out. All right, last little bit, and then we gotta do glutes. Look forward, stand in the ball of the left foot. You have five, just kick it up for five. Don't worry about handstanding. Four, just try to get the leg over if you find some hang time. Three, look forward, two, look forward, one. Lower back down, right foot down, left leg lifts. Look forward, bounce for five. Land, four. Think about the landing, try to land soft. Three. Two, and one. Release, drop down onto your knees and forearms, glutes, we made it. Okay, set up, grab your upper arms, push through your mid back, pick up your, can't remember what leg we started with last time. Uh, let's start with the left leg today, bend the knee, push through your heel and squeeze. You know this drill, you know these. I'll add one or two at the end, but it's the same at the beginning always. Squeeze at the top, and lower with control. Squeeze it at the top, you've got 10. Push with that heel. Nice and controlled. Four, three, two, Hold it up on one. Now pulse and little squeezes. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up one. Now straighten the leg. Tap your big toe. Pick it up. Same thing. Just straight leg. Lift and squeeze. Push through your forearms. You got 10. For five, four, three, two. Now hold it up there on one pulse. Let the glutes do the work. For five, four, three, two. Hold it up high on one. Spin, come to your left fingertips. Turn your toes to the side, stack your hips. Hug the right hip under, lift the leg high. Lift it up and pulse and squeeze from outer glute. Five, four, th oh no, 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 sorry, we don't do 30 on these. Now you got 10. For five, four, three, Two, hold it up, one. Now spin, drop the toes down, the hip down to keep the leg high. Go off to the right about 45 degrees and swing your leg out at 45. But again, pay attention to that leg. Drop the hip, lift it high. Now pulse and squeeze. Five, four, three, two. Should feel right under the glute, the attachment point with the hamstring. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Now bend your knee, angle your knee out, but hug that right hip under. And as you kick and flex your foot and push through your heel, squeeze your glute. Kick, nice controlled kick through the heel. We've got five, push and squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Today, take the foot across, and we're gonna make big rainbow circles up and then tap on the left side. Pick it up, tap on the right. Lower softly. Four, three, Two, and one, tap on the 
right now. Bring the leg in, fire hydrant, bend the knee and lift it to the height of the hip and lower down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now turn and lower down onto your right forearm. Bend your knees, close off your legs together, and then we're just gonna lift the top knee and lower. You're welcome to add a lift of the hip as you pick up the leg and then drop it down. Okay, five more. Last five on the side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, spin back, just stretch that out. You're gonna feel that a lot on the right too. So it's like we're, we're working both sides at the same time, just different ways. Shake it out, we'll do the other side. Okay, come back into your form, reset the body. Don't get lazy on this side. We gotta finish strong, even it out. Pick up your left leg, flex, or no, right leg, right leg. Flex the foot and push and squeeze. Ten. All the way up, highest point. Five, push and squeeze. Four, three, two, now hold it at highest point. Little pulses, little squeezes. For 10. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. One, straighten it out. Tap the big toe, lift it up and squeeze it. Lower with control, don't just let it drop down, find resistance. You got 10. All the way up. Four, three, two, get ready, hold it up, highest point. Let's go, pulse it out, squeeze. 10, five, four, three, two, one, keep it up there. Come to right fingertips, spin, hug your left hip under, lift your right leg high, turn the toes to the right. Lift it up, pulse outer glute. For 10, eight, six, four, three, two, hold it up, one, spin, toes down, hip closed, go to the left, leg to the right, but keep that hip down, keep the leg high, little pulses, attachment glute hamstring, squeezes pulses. Five, four, three, two and one, hold it up, come back to the middle, bend your knee, heel to bum, knee at an angle, hug your left hip under, kick out, press through heel and squeeze through the glute. Five, push through that heel. Three, two, one, tap outside your left ankle. Pick it up, big rainbows, tap, one. Three, two, last one here, finish it out. All right, now bring it out to the side, fire hydrant, lift it up and lower it for eight. Four, three, 
two, and one. Then roll over to that left side onto your forearm. Bend the knees, bring them together. And again, just pick up that right leg or you can pick it up and pick up the hips. You got 15. As you lower the hips, close the knees. Stay with me, last five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. All right, you guys, again, it's 946. So stretch, do what you need to do, stay on the mat for a few minutes for yourself, take a nice long shavasana, have an awesome day. I will see you guys on Tuesday again, always open to feedback, so let me know if you need anything more or less. Okay, bye you guys, thank you.